arresting a man and then using racist language to brag about it. I'm with reporter Marcy Gonzalez in downtown Brooklyn tonight with our lead story. Marcy. Yeah, that's just one of the things he's accused of. There is also another incident in which he's accused of orchestrating a group of men to lure another man and beat him. This is a man he accuses of stealing from him. Then later, he was reportedly recorded uh, making a comment that if something happened to him as a result, these guys are dead. It's a threat that prompted the judge to order him held without bail. And again, this is just the start of what he is accused of. An officer sworn to uphold the law in court today, accused of severely breaking that vow in several ways. What can you say about the accusations against your husband? Outside of court, Michael Dirigiotti's family refused to comment on the accusations, including one that is sparking outrage. The eight-year NYPD veteran charged with arresting a man on Staten Island without cause and lying that the man physically fought back to resist arrest. Later, investigators say he was recorded saying he fried another, then used a racial slur, a word he was reportedly recorded using at least a dozen other times. Residents in the Stapleton section where that incident reportedly happened say they're not surprised. Racial profiling, like they'll just, like, they'll just pull you over for no reason just because, like, you color your skin. Dirajati was reportedly using the NYPD's stop and frisk policy, which only requires an officer to have a suspicion that a crime is about to be committed. The NYPD defends stop and frisk as a great crime fighting tool, but it's a policy the Center for Constitutional Rights has been speaking out against for years because of the number of black and Hispanic residents who are targeted. The police are violating people's constitutional rights on a wide scale. I mean, we're talking about hundreds of thousands, even millions of times a year. And the other thing is that it's actually making crime fighting more difficult. And Derajati's attorney is fighting to have him released. They will be back in court for a bail hearing on Wednesday. We are live in downtown Brooklyn. Marcy Gonzalez, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.